potential admiral awakening. All right, so I picked my boy Fuji. Fuji Tora. You know what I mean? I'm going to break it down for Denisha and JP. Fuji Tora, blind man, man. I, so he don't got it. All right, when I, when I did my research, I realized I messed up on this. So all the admirals got a, a special type of Logia, I think it is, type fruit. Fuji yeah. Tora don't. Fuji Tora is the only one that doesn't have a, a Logia type fruit. Thinks this is more Paramecia is like law and shit, like when he does it, the gravity control. So what I was thinking of for a dope awakening for him was like, you imagine if man can just send a planet down on you? Imagine if he really could send a planet. Like, like I'm take Pluto, drop it on me. Nah, that. I was about to say, you sure his is it? Already awakened? Nah, I, well, that that's that's the thing is is that he has shown it every time he's used it. They used it. He they they've always said that it's he's, he's, he hasn't awakened it. And when when at moments when it when it comes time to to potentially do it, he's always backing down. Like when it comes to fighting other admirals, like you see, he didn't step in the Dolph Flamingo thing. We seen him do a couple of cool things to help save the people or help kill the people when he send them meteor. You know, whatever. Fuji Tora does some dumb things sometimes, but yeah. you know, he he really didn't use it to his best. I mean, we seen him hold up and bring all the rubble and stuff, but I think that was just a microcosm of how strong my man could really be. And I think the fact that they had him in the birdcage, it held him back because anything he would have sent down, you seen got strutted anyway. But right. I definitely think if, if he had the open land, my man could send probably a planet down on you. He could probably send tons of meteors, stars, anything in space. Like, I feel like the whole gravity thing is in his, whatever's up there, he could pull down and bring that whole shit down with him. That's how I look at it. Like, I, I, as one big bomb, that would be crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Or probably Man, touch think, you in the space. I think he was, I think he's a pretty dope animal. I mean, really, he's mm -hmm. like stuck in between because he kind of agrees with both sides, but yet again, he doesn't. You know, uh, he's more like Garp. If he, if anybody, he, he 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 believes in his own sense of justice, yeah. not really like the Navy sense of justice. That's why, like, that's why we probably haven't really seen like his. That's why he's. That's why he. Uh, he's he's cool with Sengoku so much. I'm trying to see what his well. awakening would really be. I don't think just grabbing a planet would be his awakening. Like it would I have mean, to I, be I, I something that, crazy. We're not thinking of. I mean, look at well. Yeah. I mean, look at other Paramecia. Yeah, you're bring alien down. Though. <laughs> when you look at kid, kid was just like something basic. You know what I mean? When you look at when I read into kids awakening, what he really can do was very simple. They would have just made it into something gigantic. Same thing with Law. It was very something simple if you think about it. But he just made it into something gigantic. You know what I mean? But so I, I, I thought of Fujitora. If he's going to do his awakening, it's probably going to be something simple that he can make into gigantic. Hmm. Right. Or maybe his awakening is he's going to be able to see. Oh, yeah. Give him a rock eyes. You think that'll work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you laughed at that one. <laughs> hey, I, I, I tickled myself from time to time. So, hey, I thought um, it was funny. So bad for the oh, line. Does Kuzan still count as a admiral or no? Yeah, if you want. Is that the ice guy? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I guess so. Even though he didn't, he can like kind of quit. He turns the frost. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a pirate now. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I'm not gonna use Kuzan. I mean, you can. We we could do it. You know, it could be like before he became a pirate type thing. So maybe you want to use him. I mean, you want to talk about him. I'm going to say Akunu. I feel like his and Kuzan's awakening already happened. Yeah. Like, you see how the island that they fought on, one is like permanently ice, and one is, per yeah. and one is permanently lava. So I feel like when a Logia awakens, it permanently changes the land to be in that environment. So I feel like that's the awakening he hasn't explained with Logia. No, you're right. So, I mean, I, I, I felt like them two are definitely in something with the land. The way that the land showed how destroyed it was afterwards was definitely like an eye popper. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I would have picked him too, the uh, lava guy. I would have probably said like his awakening could probably just be maybe him turning into like this, like a beast looking um, lava thing. And you know, everywhere he walks is kind of like like you said it changes everything so no matter where he goes no matter what he's it's just lava like how can you really stop lava you know with ice <laughs> <It's> like, <nah. laughs> 
that just got his leg and his arm taken away. I don't think that's a good, uh, yeah. a good fight. Ace got his punch, his, his chest punched in. So I don't think fire is a good combination against that either. Mm. Yeah, man. And apparently he knew hockey, but <laughs> not armament though. Not armament. Yeah. He knew observation. He observed it happening when he got stabbed. You know, let's not talk about Ace and that whole situation because it just it makes me so upset. <laughs> yeah, that's why I brought it up. Now we can go to the next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who you choose, uh, niece? I said I would have picked the lava guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I kind of gave my my answer. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> to to be honest, I didn't really think too much about this one, so that was really my only answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, you were supposed to do the light man. I mean, I was thinking about doing the light man. I was thinking, like, you know, what more can he really do? He moves at the speed of light. What more? What do you mean? What more can he do? He'll move double the speed. Saying like for like his awakening. Like I mean, (laughs) but I guess he becomes one with light. Yeah, he is light. I guess like so. He kind of just be like I guess like another smoker in a way, but with his light. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, I I really, light is really than, pretty much around you, especially. I was about to say he could do like uh, is that Drac Mihawk's freaking island always freaking dark, so he could make yeah, an island I'm always light. I want to see Mihawk versus this guy. I know we're talking about mm-hmm. it. Who's this light guy? Admiral. That light admiral we're talking about. <laughs> oh, I thought that was like a new character or something. Yeah, no, I mean, anyways. <laughs> <let's>... <laughs>